welcome to online cues your youtube channel for your online queries now in this video i'll show you how to create your linkedin profile so that you can connect yourself professionally on this social media now it's a great way to stay connected to people who really matters on a professional level so a lot of people have been using linkedin to secure better jobs for them or you know just get ideas and influential stuff on linkedin.com to their peers so what you need to do is go to linkedin.com and sign up you can see that the sign up form is right in the middle so you type in your first name your last name and your email address and type in a password that you can use and which will be quite strong on linkedin.com so this portion of sign up is done so click the join now button and then the security verification um kind of security verification pop up window will open like this so one thing you can do is how do you want to get the verification code i think calling would be better so i pick my country and then type in my phone number and click on send code i'm gonna receive a call really soon So I'm going to verify my code and this will verify for me whether I am going to be fully verified on LinkedIn or not. So you can see that it is preloading to check. Uh, I am being signed up for LinkedIn or not. So this is taking some while to be verified. So while this is happening, don't close this tab or anything. Don't do anything to it. Just let it load. Just let it be kind of, you know, in its own way verify it for you so that you can you know have a LinkedIn account to be connected to your professional peers or be professionally active on LinkedIn.com so you can go to your email address that you signed up for LinkedIn over here and then you can agree and confirm your email sorry my internet ran out so I checked my internet and it ran out so I'm back to it again so now I can Continue on to the next step. And the most recent job title YouTube Content Developer YouTube 
this is for my persona that I am actually on YouTube. I have another alternative job, so don't worry about that, which I'm not gonna put over here. Um, what do you call it? What do you call it? What do you call it? No, I am not into sports right now. Information technology and services. Now I'm not a student, so I'm gonna continue. So this is the pin that you got get in your inbox. Please confirm your email address to get full access to LinkedIn.com. So this is I'm gonna copy and paste it over here, and I'm gonna agree and confirm. So. I'm gonna continue. So this is gonna authorize my Google account towards LinkedIn account so that I can use the existing email address on my Google account to connect to my peers on a personal professional level, sorry. So I'm gonna click on allow. And now we will roll back to linkedin.com, this will click on continue again. You're unable to find so you can skip it since <laughs> I don't really have email addresses on that Gmail account just up yet. So first thing I need to do is I can add 15 connections or I can skip it I mean if you are using your own account you would probably be not skipping that part it would be better to not skip that part so over here I can um, upload a profile picture so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna download something from the internet so that you know at least I will show you how you can upload that picture onto your profile it's just taking quite some time I'm just gonna use one of the pictures that I have on my laptop So I'm gonna be using Chopper's photo, I guess, because I'm quite a big one piece fan over here. So I'm gonna reposition it so that you can understand what it looks like. And once that happens, I can also, you know, unstraighten it. Once that happens, I'm gonna click on save. So this will be my professional picture on LinkedIn. So this is a, this isn't a real account, so I don't really have to worry about it. Click on save. So I had to change my profile picture into something else because that picture got disliked by LinkedIn so I uploaded this. I'm gonna click on continue and then again I'm gonna add my number. And if I do this, I can download the LinkedIn app onto my mobile phone. So I'm going to skip this part. I should have skipped it in the first, but I didn't realize it. So 
So now that my LinkedIn profile is created, I can start adding in new details on my profile so that I can be more connected professionally on this platform. So what do I do is edit my profile from here. The existing profile obviously and you know from this profile section over here I can add my experience of sorry sorry I'm gonna uncut this again from this add profile section I can add my work experience education or anything I've been volunteering in all that skills accomplishments you know so that you would look good on linkedin itself so make sure to do all this on your own as well so that you can you know have some career advancement or it would look good on your resume itself so thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and comment on our channel